What's up YouTube, it's Young Men's Daily Red Pill. Back for another video, thank you guys for clicking on today's video, liking my content, sharing my content. Guys, today is gonna be a very enlightening topic that we are going to discuss, and guess what? You guys that say I'm a misogynist, that I hate women, that I am an incel, or all these different things that I hear in the comment section, which obviously aren't true, I'm here to prove it wrong today, because guess what? I have a 12 and a half minute clip an audio file of a female subscriber that wanted to share all the dark deep dark secrets that females hide from you on social media on different applications hidden apps on their smartphones and different things that you should be aware of moving forward and even if you're a woman watching this she lets you know what it is basically she is totally against social media and she believes social media you shouldn't have social media if you're in a relationship i've been saying this for a long time and I believe if you're dating someone that has social media, you need to cut her off instantly. There's no reason why she should have any social media whatsoever if you're dating her. And guess what? You guys can't point the finger at me this time because I'm actually not saying anything. I'm just going to be playing this audio clip for you guys, for you to enjoy, for you to listen. We can listen together. And it's going to be pretty enlightening. You're going to hear some things that will disrupt you, that will make you kind of feel a little angry inside, that will make you feel a little frustrated and maybe a little bit disgusted towards the female nature and just different things that she can hide and how she hides them so manipulatively. But we're gonna be talking about that after we watch this clip, after we listen to it. So let's take a listen right now. So this is just a video on why I quit social media. I honestly don't care what I'm just going to say this. If you're a woman and who refuses to give up social media, honestly, the guy just break up with her. Because if she's refusing to give it up, it's because she desperately wants that attention from the males on the media or is probably talking, banging a guy behind your back. On the other hand, if you're talking to a girl who has social media, I strongly suggest my friend for you to cut communication with her and find yourself someone who's not a slave to social media okay and right now I am going to talk about Instagram snapchat whatsapp Twitter Facebook and other apps such as high calculator and the so-called Bible app <clears throat> so I'm gonna start off with Instagram really um so the one of the reasons why i deleted instagram was because if you really think about it those hundreds of followers you have on there you don't even know them because in reality you are lonely and only talk to probably one or three people at the most out of all those hundreds of followers that you have and they are fake but on the media you want to have hundreds of followers to get attention to show off that you are popular okay and this is coming from a female this is from coming from a girl okay who had media and this is all you want that attention to make it seem like you have so many guys following you on instagram females use instagram to get attention from males sometimes you will buy comments to make other girls jealous that you have so many guys commenting her eyes on your pictures or sometimes even as females you like other guys commenting on your pictures pictures because you want to make your boyfriend jealous that's just bad you should just be focusing to be honest on building each other up and not putting stress on your man like really you're trying to make those poor guy jealous over just some fake comments that you're buying and you know i'm honestly just like that that's just gonna say this out there i am guilty of buying comments before just to get make a seem like i was popular on the media whatsoever so guys be careful another reason why i deleted social media was because i was getting random dick pics in my dms okay and that was my fault, okay? Because girls, if you're posting revealing pics, don't be surprised that some random guy is beating his meat to your pictures, okay? Yes, he's jerking off to your pics. And then you get random DMs and you don't even answer them because you just feel good about yourself that you have hella DMs on hold. Yes, 
this is very true because like me personally I would get all these DMs from just random strangers and I wouldn't even open them but when I would get that validation that these guys that attention that were giving me you know it made you feel good but in reality you're lonely okay you're worth nothing I'm sorry to say that another reason why girls use social media is to especially post pictures with their girlfriends to expand on that especially females like to post pictures with their girlfriends and caption it best friends forever when in reality your best friend is probably fucking your boyfriend behind your back and talking shit about you okay this happened to me okay so i'm not sugarcoating shit here so you never know what really goes behind the scenes like you be seeing these perfect beautiful couples on instagram or these beautiful like girlfriends uh girls night outs oh my gosh my best friends whatnot but in reality they're toxic they're just using you so they become they gain more followers and more likes okay there is no really true friendship or true relationship there they're just using you for the media so you never really know what's going behind the scenes of these pictures okay so if in general just don't share anything about your relationship or your friendships on the media just play it safe okay snapchat i'm gonna say this if you have a snapchat and you're a female you're a hoe i do not care you belong to the streets woman so why because snapchat is used for nudes and sexting girls are sneaky they also make their own private stories I know somebody who posts private stories personally and her boyfriend doesn't even know about these private stories. And if he does, he's probably just being a fucking mandilon. <laughs> so, uh, so if I was a guy, I personally don't, I wouldn't date a girl with Snapchat because another reason why is because she probably has that guy best friend on Snapchat and she will deny to you and tell you that he's gay when he's really not, when he's probably fucking her. If she sends streaks, she's a hoe. She secretly, she's secretly waiting for that one guy to start a conversation with her, okay? To move on, let's say your boyfriend is worried that you have an ex as a friend on social media. For example, on Instagram. He will check your followers on Insta or whatever and be like, Oh, she loves me. She doesn't follow him. She got over him. But in reality, she has him on Snapchat secretly. But the truth is my guys is that if your girlfriend still has her ex as a friend on the media or still even has his number or some sort of communication with him is that she secretly wants to go back with him and she's not over him and wants to know see what's up another reason why females will use snapchat is if your boyfriend buys you gifts and flowers and shit females like to post that on their stories to make other females jealous I had a best friend supposedly at that time when I had Snapchat that would always try to make me jealous and even send me pics with her boyfriend to make me jealous and about the gifts that he would buy for her. So girls also use Snapchat to post on their stories about buying Victoria's Secret clothing and other accessories with the intention of making other females jealous. Why? Because females are just jealous of each other, okay? They do not want to see each other glow and win. What's up? Okay, you guys are probably going to be in shock or probably some of you guys already know this. Okay, what's up? Especially in the Latina culture. Okay, so all my guys who have a Latina girlfriend, be careful. Especially, okay, if your Latina girlfriend goes to Mexico on a family trip supposedly... And then she comes back with a WhatsApp. No, 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 no. She cheated on you, okay? Me, when I was in high school, I had multiple friends who came back with a WhatsApp. And it's because they met a guy in Mexico and fucked him. And this probably goes for other countries as well. I really don't know. But if she fly out of the country, comes back with the WhatsApp, she belonged to the streets, my friend. Okay, move on. 
Twitter. Wait, before I move on to Twitter, um, another thing I have to say about WhatsApp is that in Mexico, most of the guys have WhatsApp and that's their form of communication. So be careful, okay, if your girl comes back with the WhatsApp just when she got back from Mexico, okay? WhatsApp is not okay. Twitter, girls use this to express their feelings. They will tweet, for example, I feel lonely just to get attention. Or they will retweet a bouquet of flowers, a purse, etc. And say, I will never get this or my man will never buy this for me. This is all with the purpose of letting her boyfriend know that she wants that gift. Basically, Twitter is used for females to express their needs and what they want. Or sometimes girls will retweet freaky posts saying, this how freaky I'm trying to be with my future man. Or I'm, a tr- I'm trying to wear this certain lingerie for my man in the future. To be honest, we don't need to know that. Keep that to yourself. We, we get it. Okay? We, you want attention. <sighs> Last but not least, Facebook. So I know of a married couple whose marriage got ruined because of Facebook. They were that church couple. <laughs> He had Facebook and added his old high school friends from Mexico. And long story short, he he added his high school girlfriend and they rekindled the fire on Facebook Messenger. And he left his wife and kids to go back with his high school sweetheart. Facebook is mainly for older people. But if you're an older guy, don't let your wife or the other way around to have Facebook. Because they will start to reconnect with people from their past. And you don't want your wife or your husband talking to people they had history with. So, other apps such as High Calculator. Write that down. High Calculator. H-I and then Calculator. It's really not a calculator. It's a hidden photo album. And if you have to put a password to gain access to the calculator. If you have a daughter or your wife or girlfriend or whatever and she has a calculator app ask her for the password it's really not a calculator app as you can see she secretly has hidden album and if she's hiding that album from you it's because she's cheating and sending nudes to other guys or taking provocative pictures i don't know even worse is that there is actually a bible app but in reality it's also a hidden album as well and that's just sad because it's a bible and it's hidden pictures in it it has hidden pictures inside of it so i pretty much covered anything everything um if you're female and you're listening to this and you're mad or offended it's probably because you use social media for these following reasons i just listed i mean if the shoe doesn't fit honey why are you mad Bless you, and the only validation you really need is from Jesus and your man. Submit to them both, and your life will be much easier, honey. And just quit social media, and your mental health will be better, better in general. And you will start, you will stop comparing your body to other females, and your lives, and your relationship to others. Stop comparing yourself. You really don't know what goes behind the scenes. And that's all I have to say. Wow. So how was that for a truth bomb, guys? That was some deep stuff right there. I know a lot. some of you guys out there that are watching this have never heard any of this stuff because I didn't know about some of this stuff that was going on, uh, some of the hidden apps and stuff like that and the WhatsApp situation. But I'm hoping the goal of this video, um, I put, I posted this video on my Patreon before, or the audio clip, I should say. But the, my hope with this video is to wake up men that are in relationships or are thinking about being in relationships and just understanding the risks are not greater than the rewards. And do you really want to have to play investigator, CSI Miami with your girlfriend or your significant other? I necessarily don't want to do that. I really could care less. I don't want to have to be doing that. I'd rather be focusing on my purpose, focusing on building some businesses, bettering my life. There's a whole bunch of other things I'd rather do than be focused on investigating my woman's phone. You know what I'm saying? So if she has social media, cut her off. 
but this is just my opinion. Live your life. I hope this woke up some of you guys that are considering it and hopefully uh, it helps someone out there. Before I end this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss any more uploads. Love you all. I'll be back with more videos this week. Have a good one.